Hey folks, it's Mike coming to you from Vought RV. Let's talk about small, lightweight fifth wheels. I've got a 24RE model behind me, a Jayco Eagle, that's only 29 feet long, super lightweight. Before I get started, let me show off my top three favorite things about this fifth wheel. Number three, it has a Kurt Turning Point Kingpin, so you can pull this safely even with a short bed, half ton pickup truck. Number two, we're only 29 feet and a little over 8,000 pounds, so it's easily maneuverable. You can park in any national park, state park, anywhere you wanna go. And my number one favorite thing is this ginormous hidden pantry right behind the entertainment center. Okay, now let's do a walk around on this 24RE, the very smallest fifth wheel that Jayco makes. A lot of the things you're going to see about this unit are going to be consistent with things that you see in the other high-end units that Jayco makes, like the vacuum bonded walls, like the 20-year warranty on the roofing membrane, Goodyear tires, American made with a six-year warranty, and just the overall build quality is going to be consistent throughout this unit, just like the higher North Points and Pinnacles. We have nice pass-through storage up here. We have a motion sensor light that pops on automatically. It's nice and clean with the diamond plating on the bottom here. We're RVC solar controller ready, so if you want to add solar capabilities, you can do that. Now I've got power up here, both USB and 110 and a coax cable outlet. So if I wanna have a TV out here on the patio side, the fun side, as I like to say, I can do it. Have access to our propane bottle right here. There's one on the other side, just like it. Now, as is true with all the Eagle HTs, I have a smaller compartment up here, but tons of storage up here. If you were to add a generator, this is where it would go. Uh, I've got room for my battery compartment right here. Full-size Goodyear spare tire right here, and I've already bragged about the Kurt turning point. That negates the need for a slider hitch if you've got a short bed, half-ton pickup truck, and chances are you may have if you're looking at a unit this small. Now, we ordered this with both side cameras and rear cameras. So this eliminates blind spots. You hit the left turn signal going down the road, you're gonna get a clear shot down the left side of this unit. You can see if somebody's creeping up beside you. Opposite side with our other propane bottle, and then our utility center right next to it. Jayco always does a fantastic job of labeling all of the components in here. It takes the guesswork on how to, how to hook this up. If this is your first RV, sometimes this can be a little bit daunting. Just adjust these simply the way they're outlined right here and you'll know that you've got it set up correctly for dry camping, filling your tanks and so on. Your pull valves for your sewer outlets here and you can route your hoses up through the bottom and close this all off completely. This is a quick connect with both hot and cold, so you can wash your sandy feet off at the beach, maybe your pets, maybe your kids or whatever. There's also a quick connect on the other side. Now I can control our auto leveling right inside here. Yes, we have auto leveling. So if you have to fool around and level your trailer the old fashioned way, now you've got the luxury of doing it simply by pushing a button. 50 amp coach right here, it's a detachable power cord. We have our six gallon direct spark ignition water heater, and this is our furnace vent. Coming around to the back side of the coach, a couple things I'd like to show to you. Most notably is the towing package. So we have a 3,000 pound towing hitch here with a 300 pound down pressure rating. So you can put a cargo tray back here, maybe bring a smoker along to the campsite, bicycles, cargo rack back here, or as this diagram shows, if you wanna have a boat or a small ATV or something, you can hook your lights up right there. Now we have a rear camera in the back too. So you'll get a little five inch monitor that'll live on the dash of your truck so you can keep an eye both back here and on either side of the coach as you're going down the road. This is a J-port connector so I can put, uh, it'll receive a little platform on which a griddle or a grill will rest. And that's a neat thing to have that option. It's back of your refrigerator, which I'll show off on the inside in just a second. 
Now, we have a nice spacious awning on this side with an LED light strip underneath it. This is what I call the fun side of the RV. This is the most important side. This is where all the action happens. So you want plenty of coverage over the picnic table and all that on this side of the coach. Now, we have speakers on the outside so you can push music from your phone to the outside patio right here. This is a little switch that controls a blue light under here, which you can't see because it's so bright, but there's a blue light that casts just enough light under these steps, makes it safe for coming in after dark. Speaking of steps, let's talk about these guys. These are the Moride Step Above Steps, and they're what I call zero gravity because it stays put when I get it up to this level and it won't come crashing down on your head. It's super easy to adjust these feet. So if you're on uneven ground, just pop that in and adjust these accordingly so that you have good contact point with the ground. Simply let it go up in like so for travel and close the door. And then when you get to where you're going, grab a hold, drop it down just like so. Now, even if you don't have knee or hip problems, I really appreciate having this for getting in and out of the coach. So let's go inside and have a look on the inside. Now we're on the inside of this 24RE, and remember, this is the very smallest fifth wheel that Jayco makes, and yet they make a great use of the space. I have a slide out here which houses this sofa, which converts into a bed, and your little table and chair set up right here. Now, before I get into the details of all this, just kind of look around here. I've got a nice spacious space with this pantry behind it. Window back here, so if you're at the lake, you can have a good view on the outside. Jayco's great about putting charging ports and access to power everywhere. This checks a whole bunch of boxes and we're less than 30 feet long. If you think about it, the travel length is more like about 25 or 26 by the time the fifth wheel portion is over the back of your truck. So overall travel length is really short. Um, so anyway, let's get down into the brass tacks of this thing. How about this? This hidden pantry right behind here. So in a 29 foot unit, you wouldn't expect a ton of storage and yet, goodness gracious, I wish I had this in my house. Canned goods, you could use extra storage for clothing, camping supplies. If you're, if you're taking that many groceries, you're probably feeding an army. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use that space for both clothing, uh, my fishing gear, if my wife will let me, whatever you wanna put in there. Tons of space and we have hooks up here to put our HDMI jackets, HDMI, right? So we have access to, the, of course, the TV's on the opposite side of here. So I can hook up a component in here our coax cable, I don't have to do major surgery to get in here to hook up maybe a DVD player, a game console, those kinds of things. So real handy to have that. Now, it's a magnet, it's a really strong magnet too. And it's on, I might point this out too, as a piano hinge. It's a piano hinge, top to bottom. On some other manufacturers, they'll put a roller on the floor because this door can get kind of heavy and after time it leaves a groove in your floor. This is a piano hinge on this, so it opens and closes really easily. Two-door 12-volt refrigerator. So I like 12-volt refrigerators. This is running off your batteries, your 12 volts all the time. Um, key thing about this is it's two cubic feet bigger than a traditional gas or electric refrigerator. Really nice, and it's a compressor fridge, so it behaves just like a residential refrigerator. Kind of an L-shaped kitchen setup. We have a three-burner cooktop with our backlit controls, modest sized little oven, and then down below a storage drawer for cookware. Now Jayco's great about their cabinet build. They're always going to put full extension drawer glides, ball bearing, full extension 75 pound drawer glides, solid wood facing on all cabinets and drawers. Got some storage up top here, right above our little microwave. We have a vented range hood right here with a light behind it. So that vents to the outside, just like home. Now this is something new. 
I wonder what you think about this new backsplash pattern back here. It actually feels like tile. I don't think it is. It's probably a more lightweight material. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, I'm curious. Drop a comment below. I'd really love to hear what you think about this new backsplash design. Now over here next to this, we also have some storage shelving. Now this is that backup camera monitor I was telling you about that would ride up in the dash of your truck. Now we have a cutting board and a strainer right next to it so you can store these below if you like. Now this is actually not a solid surface countertop. It's basically a poly material and what I like about it is there's no edge banding around the edge uh, like laminate would be that can come loose over time from heat or moisture. Jayco can still do an undermount residential style stainless steel sink. Very classy looking, very clean looking. Now we have our table and chairs here. If I wanna just lift up on this a little bit, I can pull this out and now have room for seating for four around this table show you up front we'll have two more chairs that look just like this but they're folding chairs up front and this does fold out to become another sleeping position too we just pull these cushions off lift up the front drop the legs and now we have a bed for one person certainly maybe two if they really like each other all right. Now, it's up to you whether you want to disclose to your friends or not that this does have another place to sleep. That's a decision you can make. Okay. Now, we'll move toward the front of the coach. We have roller shades everywhere instead of those pleated shades. These are roller shades. Just give it a little tug. It's a soft close. I really like these. I think it's a big improvement over the pleated shades that were prevalent, well, actually in years past leading up to this point. The little storage on the back side here so I can get in to access our plumbing and also just plain old storage. You can't have too much storage. Again, we're in a 29 foot unit here, so every little bit of storage helps. USB charging ports and 110. So if I wanted my coffee maker up here or a blender or whatever, I have power readily available. Now going up the steps here is our BM Pro system. So this is the brains of the whole unit. It's an Android tablet, all right? So you can control all the systems from your climate, check your tank levels, your motors. So I can do our leveling from this, our awnings, our slide outs, all controlled on this screen. And then that little temperature guy will give you your uh, AC controls, first and second AC controls. Now here's the neat thing. Put this app on your phone and you can control all these functions from your phone. So you can be outside watching the slide come out and drop the levelers from your phone. Make sure you're not pulling the slide out into a power pedestal or something like that. We have traditional toggle switches for lighting so you don't have to use this. You can use these toggle switches here. A lot of people point at this and ask me what it is, and of course it is a grenade launcher for security. No, just kidding. It's a thermistor. It's sampling the air temperature, so the thermostat knows what the ambient temperature is in here. Now, let's check out this bathroom. 29-foot unit, pretty spacious, actually. We have a porcelain foot flush toilet. All the essentials you need in here, including this, right? Jayco doesn't forget the details. Now, another thing I'd like you to let me know. Notice we have this sort of navy blue color here in the bathroom that accents the rest of the decor. A lot of folks come up to me and say, you know, I wish a woman would design these and someone that camps. Good news. Stacy Stewart is the lead designer at Jayco. She's a female and she camps. So besides that, let me know what you think about this color, the blue. It's kind of growing on me. I kind of like it. I think I kind of, I think I really do like it actually, but let me know what you think. We have a medicine cabinet here with a nice lighting around the back side. I'm six feet tall, kind of broad shouldered, plenty of room for me in here. I think if you're probably six, five or six, six, you could still take a shower in here with our nice classy shower surround and a glass shower door. Now, 
I have a little door here which I'm going to show off when we get into the bedroom as well. But this opens up to an area that can either be storage or it can put your washer dryer, combo washer dryer in here if you choose to do that. If you do, you lose this storage space. If you don't, you got tons of storage with closet storage with a hanger right there. So that's pretty neat. Either way, you get these two little compartments for storage below. Moving into the bedroom. We're CPAP prepped in all Jayco fifth wheels. So in every fifth wheel, there's going to be outlets on either side of the nightstand. So you can put a CPAP machine, there's room to put it, and there's a place to plug it in. There's also a place to plug in your gadgets and your phone, USB charging on either side. So that's pretty nice. Now, let's lift up this bed. It's got gas struts, which makes it easy to lift up and it stays up while I can access the things that I have stored under here. I have these two folding chairs that are upholstered just like the ones up front. So now I can have seating for four folks around the table. Again, if you're shopping for RVs and you should, lift up the mattress and see what you see. In every case with Jayco, you're gonna see plywood, not OSB or particle board, and that's important. Plywood's expensive. I don't know if you shop for plywood lately, but it's expensive. It's stronger, and something else that people don't think about, it doesn't off-gas like OSB or particle board, so you don't get that smelly kind of sensation when you step up into a Jayco like some other models. Now, here's that access to either the storage area or your laundry space. This shelf would of course come out if you put a washer dryer combo, but if not, got lots of closet storage, hanging storage there, and then two drawers below either way. Now up front, I've got some little storage compartments on either side of the bed, and then you can control your reading light on either side as well. Same drill on the other side, and then there's a little cubby down below where you can toss some shoes or a book or what have you. Now we have two AC units on this. We have an AC unit here, and I've got an AC unit, a main AC unit up front, uh, I should say in the back, main living area. So if you're in Texas, and we are in Texas, are you gonna be using this where it's super hot? You're gonna have no problem keeping this thing cool with two AC units. Now, if you wanna put a TV in here, right here's the place to do it. This is the backer location that's reinforced to accept a mount for a TV, which you would provide, or we'll put one in for you. So, we're in the Jayco Eagle HT 24RE. Again, the absolute smallest, shortest, lightest weight fifth wheel that Jayco makes. It's half ton towable. If you're not sure if your truck can safely tow this, give us a call or email us. We'll look up your truck and determine if it can in fact safely tow this. We want you to be able to tow a thousand pounds more than the unloaded weight of this. So that adds up to about 9,000 pounds. If you're at 9,000 pounds or more, you're golden, but we'll check to make sure. Give us a call, we'd love to show this to you in person. My name is Mike, we've got lots of good sales guys here to help you. Give us a buzz, we'll get you hooked up with one of them. And remember, our philosophy here is we really think that shopping for an RV should be just as fun as using them. So come on out, visit us, we'll look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vought RV.